This morning, new recommendations are out from the CDC on mask bullying, what you can do in a mask-related confrontation. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. It is Sunday, August 16th. I'm Josh Breider. We begin this morning with continuing coverage as we learn the plans for a celebration of life event for 11-year-old Anissa Scott, the victim of a shooting from earlier this week. This Saturday, a procession of monster trucks and dirt bikes will begin at the state capitol and travel to Bree Stevens Field, where the public is invited to listen to the services. We're going to work with Bree Stevens Field to have a big screen monitor outside of the facility so people can watch the funeral in their cars, they can watch it outside, or they can listen to it on the radio. Following the service, 50 people at a time will be led into the stadium for a public viewing. Masks and social distancing will be required. In the days following Anissa's death, her family says the community has been a rock to lean on. I am only able to be strong because of y'all, and I just wanna you know, thank everybody. Words cannot begin to explain um, the comfort that we feel knowing that everybody loved Anissa. Anissa's favorite color was red, so they're asking people to show up in red and white. The Boys and Girls Club is also currently looking for someone with a white monster truck to use for the service. 701 right now. Let's check in with meteorologist Aaron White with a look at your first warm weather forecast. Aaron, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Josh. We have a great day coming our way with a lot of sunshine. Just a few clouds out there this morning, but otherwise, it's going to be a really nice afternoon as we have the sunshine and some fairly comfortable temperatures up into the 80s. Uh, we are starting off on the cool side, though, down into the 50s this morning. We will warm up to about 77 around lunchtime. Plenty of sunshine. There will be a few afternoon clouds, but otherwise generally sunny and a high right around 84 degrees. But like I mentioned, it is a cool start down into the 50s. 55 in Janesville, up to 61 now in Monroe. 55 in Watertown, 54 in Juneau, 55 in the Dells. And if you are heading out to the lakes today, most of the beaches are open on the area lakes and uh, it is going to be a fairly comfortable day. Again, a high of around 84 degrees. Wind out of the west about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And we have some more nice weather in the forecast. I'll have a look at the seven day coming up in just a bit. All right, Aaron, thank you. To the latest now on the coronavirus this morning, as we learn the FDA is granting emergency use authorization to a new inexpensive COVID-19 test. The test is called Saliva Direct. It yields similar outcomes to nasal swab tests and works by processing saliva samples. Researchers say it can give you results in under three hours and they expect labs to charge only about $10 per sample. Right now, two senior officials are departing the CDC. An official at the agency says that Chief of Staff Kyle McGowan resigned effective Friday. Deputy Chiefs of Staff Amanda Campbell did the same thing. The two are reportedly leaving to start a consulting firm. Both are Trump appointees, but members of the administration have criticized them for not being loyal enough. Meanwhile, the virus outbreak continues to worsen in Wisconsin. Twelve more people have died from complications over the past day. According to combined data from DHS and county dashboards, there are 687 new cases around the state. 7.3% of tests have come back positive over the last 24 hours. That's down 2.5 points from Friday. Just under 10,000 of the state's 65,000 cases remain active. The World Health Organization is reporting a new record for the largest single-day increase in COVID cases. Officials say there were 294,000 new confirmed infections over the last day. There are 21.3 million cases worldwide. About a quarter of those are in the U.S. The CDC is now forecast in America could see another 21,000 COVID-19 deaths in just the next three weeks. California this week became the first state to surpass 600,000 cases. Although new infections and hospitalizations are trending downward in several states, the nation's top infectious disease expert warns that people shouldn't let their guards down. We're starting to see the inkling of the upticks in the percent of the tests that are positive, which we know now from sad past experience that that's a predictor that you're going to have more surges. Meanwhile, the White House continues to promote the promise of a vaccine on the horizon. Investigators working on the Moderna vaccine say they still have a lot of work to do. 
One potentially hopeful development published in the Journal of American Medical Association shows early trials of a Chinese vaccine are safe and do induce an immune response, but more study is needed. Well, 704 is your time right now. How do you react when an unmasked person walks by you at a grocery store? Or what if someone coughs in your direction in the street? Scenarios like this are a part of our, quote, new normal. And this morning, we're breaking down those new etiquette rules in the age of COVID-19. Dr. Carol Lieberman joins us this morning with more on this. Dr. Carol, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We know you're joining us from the West Coast, so you're up early, so we very much appreciate it. You're very welcome. So obviously this has been a discussion over the last few months here about the mask mandates that are going into effect across the country. We have that here in Wisconsin right now. And first, as a doctor, why do you believe in masks and are they working? <laughs> well, actually, um, I believe that everybody has the right to make their own decision about masks. Um, I think that what we have to realize though, in terms of interacting with others, is that there is so much psychological baggage connected to masks. Uh, first, you have to figure out how you really feel yourself, and then you have to try to figure out if it's someone, not just in the grocery store, but someone, you know, your spouse or a best friend or something like that, or your boss, um, you have to, you know, negotiate that relationship. But what's key to all of this is to understand the psychological symbolism of masks. For what it says to a lot of people is, mortality. In other words, whether you wear it or you don't wear it or you see somebody wearing it, that's a big flashing sign. We're all going to die. You know, you could die from this. There is danger in the world. You could die. And that is very scary, needless to say. And it also has other symbolism like, um, you know, bad guys in movies wear masks. Um, of course, there's all this political connection to it you know if you wear a mask or you don't you're that's you're saying you belong you believe in one political party or the other it's all the things associated with masks it's not just whether masks work or not so what would you tell people you know you're at the grocery store and somebody's criticizing you for wearing a mask or not wearing a mask what do you do in that situation what should you say what should you do well, in a grocery store or on the street, you know, when it's someone who you don't have to have in your life after that, um, the best thing to do is to walk away because people are um, have what I call corona rage these days. It's like road rage. We're all so on edge and that if you say something, you don't know, you know, the person could be violent or it, it, it's just not worth it to start a whole big, um, you know, scuffle when you could just walk away or and walk outside, go back in a little while later or walk on the other side of the street. It's not worth it. It's the people who you want to be involved with for the rest of your life or continuing in your life that you need to be more, um, you know, sensitive to. But people these days, it's, it's, we've been told so many different conflicting stories. Uh, at the beginning, don't wear masks, then wear masks, and, you know, what kind of mask and all of that. And then we have people like Dr. Fauci telling us, don't just wear masks. He was suggesting the other day we wear goggles. So the next thing is hazmat suits. So we need to kind of be tolerant and understanding about all of these psychological aspects to it and not just boil it down to whether you wear a mask or not. Now, obviously, here in Wisconsin, a lot of kids are going to be going back to school here in the coming weeks. I think we're two or three weeks away from the start of school. And with the mask mandate here, a lot of parents are having the discussion about masks in schools. You know, what should parents be doing to explain to their kids about the masks and making them kind of known and also try to avoid that bullying aspect in schools as well? Yes, well, parents need to explain masks, of course, going back to school, masks are a good idea just to be extra cautious. Uh, and they could be made into something fun, you know, um, drawing things on, on the mask, like a superhero face or um, just any anything, clowns, um, something to make it fun. You could do something different every day. But uh, so parents should explain that, yes, it would be a good idea to wear masks. Uh, don't bully anybody who isn't wearing a mask. Um, you know, leave that to your teacher or just don't say anything. Um, but really, you know, the, the 
Kids, I mean, first of all, it's very important for kids to go back to school. Let's start with that because um, kids are really having a very tough time at home. They're not really learning as well from Zoom and all of that. So wearing a mask, if that's the price that you have to pay to go to school, it's certainly worth it. Now, I know, uh, obviously, a lot of people are in a lot of different situations. One of the things my family's always talked about is everyone's going to have a different opinion. Everyone's going to do different things. It kind of feels like just where you're comfortable in. If you want to wear a mask, great. If you don't, then don't. But I think a lot of people have made this political. What's been your kind of experience with that and that, you know, everyone thinks, well, if you're wearing a mask, your belief in this, or if you're not, you're not. What would you say about that? Well, yes, I mean, there is that side to it. You know, there's the side on the one hand, you could say, well, uh, it doesn't hurt to wear a mask. I mean, you know, there have been some people out there saying like um, mask face, mask skin or whatever, but on the whole, it doesn't really hurt you to wear a mask, But except, I mean, physically, but um, certainly there is the whole dark side to it of has, are we turning into George Orwell's 1984? where mayors and governors are able to tell us uh, first it's, you know, lockdowns and now masks. And so we do have to be wary of this um, and to just not to not let this be the stepping stone, uh, slippery slope into just being controlled by mayors and governors beyond what is their right. I mean, you know, we need to make sure we have liberties. We still keep our liberties. Well, Dr. Carroll, any, any final message you have for our viewers here in Wisconsin this morning? Yes. Um, what I suggest is that people, what people can have control of isn't necessarily what the person is wearing in the store or even your BFF or, you know, whoever. But what you do have control of is your own immunity. What you need to be worrying about or thinking about doing something about is building your own immunity by the basic things like uh, eating nutritious food, getting enough sleep, getting enough exercise, getting enough sunshine, uh, taking vitamins, taking supplements to build your immune system, that kind of thing. If you make your own immunity stronger and try, oh, key thing, trying to not have stress, get stress out of your life or decrease stress. I mean, we can't get it totally out, but we can certainly decrease the stress. And all of these things combined can build your immune system, and then it isn't really as important um, as to whether somebody walks by you without a mask. All right, Dr. Carol Lieberman joining us from California this morning again. Dr. Carol, we appreciate you waking up with us extra early on the West Coast this morning. Thank you. All right. Well, there are still plenty of questions and concerns about for your kids going into this fall semester. Tomorrow on News 3 Now this morning, we're going to be chatting live with UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff. He'll be here to answer your questions live in our 6 o'clock hour. Just let us know what you want us to ask him. You can send us your questions on Facebook, and we'll be sure to get the answer. More than one month after Dane County's mask mandate went into effect, people are still protesting a Middleton coffee shop stance on face coverings. A group organized yesterday's protests on Reddit where people handed out coffee and snacks to those outside of Hellbox Coffee. Hellbox is suing local officials over the ordinance and declares itself a mask-free zone. Organizers say they're seeing a lot of support for what they're doing and hope they're encouraging people to stay safe during the pandemic. We're just offering people if they don't want to go into that coffee shop that they can have free coffee from people who, who care about their well-being and want them to be safe and healthy and not get COVID-19. Last week, Public Health Madison and Dane County sent Hellbox a notice of intent to revoke its food and drink license. A motion hearing for Hellbox three citations will be held September 10th in Dane County Court. Right now, students living in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Illinois are starting to drop off their belongings in dorms ahead of UW move-in, which isn't until the end of August. UW-Madison initiated early drop-off in response to the pandemic, hoping it will make the moving process easier and safer for families. The whole idea of move-in, whether folks are taking advantage of the early drop-off or regular move-in, we have extended that. Normally that's a, a two-day experience. This year it's gonna be seven days. So the whole idea is to space it out, reduce crowds, um, really do as much as possible to, to keep it safe. The university is expecting nearly 400 students to take advantage of early drop-off through Tuesday. 714 right now is still ahead for us this morning. We take a live look outside as we're keeping an eye on your Sunday forecast. Sunny skies for your Sunday. Aaron will be back with that when we come back. 
Once Weekly Ozempic is helping many people with type 2 diabetes like Emily lower their blood sugar. A majority of adults who took Ozempic reached an A1C under 7 and maintained it. Here's your A1C. Oh, my A1C is under 7. And you may lose weight. Adults who took Ozempic lost on average up to 12 pounds. I lost almost 12 pounds. Oh! For those also with known heart disease, Ozempic lowers the risk of major cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, or death. It lowers the risk. Oh? And I only have to take it once a week. Oh. Ozempic is not for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonyl urea or insulin may increase low blood sugar risk. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. Once Weekly Ozempic is helping me reach my blood sugar goal. You may pay as little as $25 for a one-month or three-month prescription. Ask your healthcare provider today about Once Weekly Ozempic. Let's summer. Let's dine out by truly dining out. Let's serve up the freshest of food with a side of fresh air and save a little money without sacrificing the savory. Let's raise our tongs to tasty by introducing our grills to new thrills and make mouths water more than a backyard slip and slide. Let's live a little more by having another s'more because summer is here and no one does summer savings like Festival Foods. We're seeing it again. The virus spreading out of control. The president once again failing to act. Joe Biden knows we need to listen to medical experts and take action now. That starts by expanding testing, calling for mask mandates nationwide starting immediately, and producing more protective gear here at home. Fighting this virus and rebuilding our economy will take a president who's ready to lead. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Find your keys. Find your get up and go. Find pants that aren't sweats. Find your friends. Find your sense of wonder. Find the world is new again. At Chevy, we'd like to take you there. Now, during the Chevy Open Road sales event, get up to 15% of MSRP cash back on select 2020 models. That's over $5,700 cash back on this Equinox. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. We have a beautiful day coming our way, a lot of sunshine, just a few clouds out there this morning, but we will have a sunny afternoon and rather warm temperatures as we start to head up into the 80s. Starting off this morning down into the 50s, but we should warm up to about 71 around 9 o'clock this morning, 77 for lunchtime, and then a high today topping out right around 84 degrees. And today is actually going to be kind of the warmer day of the next uh, several, in fact, as we will start to see some cooler temperatures, maybe about 5 degrees cooler as we kick off the work week. This morning, though, we're down into the 50s, 57 in Madison, 60, though, in Monroe, 59 in Mineral Point, 57 in Lone Rock and the Dells. And if you are heading out to the lakes today, most of the beaches are open. Water temperature right around 76 degrees. And again, today's high topping out right around 84 degrees with about a west wind about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, while things are quiet here in Wisconsin, there's a lot of activity down in the tropics. We have post-tropical cyclone Kyle. That's actually moving out into the Atlantic. Josephine, that's going to weaken uh, later on today and actually kind of curl off, off, off into the Atlantic as well. But further to the west, there are two areas of development that we're keeping an eye on as these could have impacts uh, down the road probably about a week to 10 days from now as they move across the Atlantic and start to develop a little bit more. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Back here at home, not much to worry about for today as we will see that sunshine. A few clouds passing through this morning. Maybe a couple afternoon clouds, but other, otherwise it should be sunny. Temperatures into the mid to upper 70s as we get towards uh, midday. And then we do warm up into the lower 80s uh, later on this afternoon. And we do start to cool back down with a clear sky tonight. Temperatures are going to fall back down into the 
upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So here's our forecast for today, calling for that sunshine, 84 year high, west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then tonight we'll drop down to about 59 degrees for an overnight low under a mostly clear sky. And then temperatures are going to be cooling down just a little bit as we go into the start of the work week. Sunny on Monday and Tuesday. We'll see a high right around 80 degrees. 80 on Wednesday, there will be about a 20% chance of a thunderstorm late in the day. Better chance of storms will arrive by Friday and Saturday, and we do start to see a little bit cooler weather by the end of the weekend. Highs in the upper 70s. Know those overnight lows down into the 50s. So I think after we get through the next 10 days, we'll see some cooler weather, more fall-like conditions uh, to end the month of August. Yeah, a little bit of everything in that forecast, yeah. trying to make everybody happy over there, Aaron. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a good forecast. We got the storms that we do need some rainfall. Yes, so we hopefully do. we get that by the end of the week. All right, Aaron White, thank you very much. 720 right now. Duncan is thinking pumpkin and skipping ahead to fall already. The Massachusetts based company is making its pumpkin flavored coffee and espresso and bakery treats available starting this week. This is the earliest Duncan is bringing its fall flavored products to consumers. The fall items will be available for a limited time. No word yet if Duncan plans to bring its Christmas treats earlier than usual this year. And if we're going ahead and switching to pumpkin flavors, you might as well get a head start on Halloween too. Maybe, not me, but maybe you are different. You may have noticed that Halloween specific candies are packaging in is packaging already is already available in some grocery stores. Hershey is putting out their trick or treating products earlier than usual this year. Candy makers fear the COVID-19 pandemic might negatively affect sales during what is typically their biggest season. A survey done for the uh, Confectioners Association says fewer people plan to hand out candy on October 31st. Well, candy company Brock's has a controversial plan to bring Thanksgiving dinner to your candy dish. It's infusing its candy corn with the six flavors of the holiday feast, from turkey and stuffing to cranberry sauce and sweet potato fry pie. Rather, I don't know about that. For picky eaters, turkey dinner candy corn is color-coded for each dish. A little bit of everything there. All right, coming up, the Brewers taking in a win last night, plus the Bucks are headed to the playoffs this week. We'll have the updates from News 3 Now Sports ahead. And without college football this fall, local bars could be in a tough spot financially. What the Big Ten canceling fall sports means for Madison businesses when we come back. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by the Wisconsin Lottery, reminding you to please play responsibly. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems, including the world's best softener, no one filters more than Culligan Water, the only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD, and we love Spectrum's 24-hour local news channel. Plus, we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-976-4499. Spectrum Internet starts at $200 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-976-4499. Two separate qualifying stays and earn a free night. The open road is open again. And wherever you're headed, Choice Hotels is there. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Ladies, check it out. So strong, so not ripped. What are we talking about? That's the hefty, ultra strong bag. Hefty, hefty, hefty! Give me. Give me the bag. Get hefty, ultra strong at a low price. I love to equal the playing field. I love to help people and allow them to feel like they are powerful instead of powerless. We're with our clients every step of the way. Gingris Thompson and Walks. When a student falls behind, a good teacher helps them catch up. A bad president would tie their hands. 
like Joe Biden would. Even with hundreds of public schools closed indefinitely, Biden opposes emergency parental choice grants, preventing parents from choosing options like private tutoring or charter schools if their public school is closed. A lost year is unacceptable, but four under Biden, that's a lost generation. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. The time is now 724 and we have a great day coming our way with a lot of sunshine starting off with a few clouds out there, but otherwise it is going to be a warm end to the weekend as we have have highs into the uh, lower to middle 80s this afternoon. A lot of sunshine to kick off your work week, but storm chances are going to return as we head towards the end of the week on into next weekend. But for today again, a few clouds out there this morning. Otherwise sunshine temperatures warming up into the middle to upper 70s around lunchtime and we are heading into the lower to middle 80s. Later on this afternoon, there will be the chance for maybe a couple showers north of the area up towards the uh, Green Bay area later on this afternoon, but we should stay dry and we are going to see that dry weather continue as we head into the start of the work week. But for today, enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine. 84 will be your high west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Like I mentioned, though, we are going to be seeing that chance for maybe some storms coming in as we get towards the end of the week and I'll time those out coming up in the extended forecast. All right, Aaron, thank you. The Packers finally got to practice this week with limited media in attendance, but some big news for Kenny Clark. The team signed him to a four-year, $70 million extension that makes him the highest paid nose tackle in NFL history. That's according to his agent. That deal also includes a $25 million signing bonus and runs through 2024. Well-deserved, according to Aaron Rodgers. I have the pleasure of working out with him in the offseason. He's a fantastic guy. You know, he's a quiet guy that goes about his business the right way. And uh, he's, you know, found his voice at times and his leadership role, you know, has increased over the years. It's been fun to, to watch him kind of step into that uh, opportunity. And, you know, he's one of those guys you just, you, you know, you can count on every single week. Just about a third of the way through a shortened season, the Brewers are trying to work themselves into the conversation in the NL playoff picture. Trying to get another win at Wrigley Saturday, tied in the 10th. Avizel Garcia lines one way down and right. Enough time for Kristen Yelich to speed home. Brewers take the lead and they won 6-5. to five. The Cardinals back in action after 16 days and showing no signs of rust. They swept both games against the Chicago White Sox. They'll play 51 games over the next 43 days to close out the season. Well, the NBA's bubble is holding strong as the league prepares for the playoffs this morning. No players tested positive in the last week and none have tested positive since entering the bubble back in July. If a player does ever test positive, he will be isolated until he tests negative under rules established by the Players Association and NBA. The 2020 playoffs start tomorrow. Well, the Bucks' first game isn't until Tuesday, and Giannis will be back on the court after serving his one-game suspension. The Greek freak was suspended after he headbotted a player on Tuesday night. Game one of the team's first-round series against Orlando starts at 12.30 on Tuesday against the Magic. Well, coming up, time right now, 7.27. We're getting a taste of the best deals in town ahead of this year's Black Restaurant Week. And we'll also show you how the Dane County Farmer's Market is adjusting to operating during the pandemic. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, Sunday. We thank you for that. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 25th anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, get 25% off our entire Doctor's Choice lineup. Score free shipping when you purchase any mattress. And five years, no interest. The 25th anniversary sale, on now at Denver Mattress. If someone came to you and asked, what are you invested in? Would your answer be about mutual funds or mutual relationships? Maybe both. At Thrivent, we believe money is a tool, not a goal. To learn more, text THRIVE to 484848 or visit Thrivent.com. Believe you me, we've seen a lot of mornings. And starting your morning with the small bits of cheese stuck to a McDonald's breakfast wrapper is the right way to start your morning. Enjoy a $2 savory sausage McMuffin with hash browns or a $2 sausage biscuit with hash browns. Only at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
At GHC, we want you to be safer at home. We have more ways for you to get care anywhere, anytime, day or night. Be seen, be safe, be home. We will get through this together, and we will all get better together. Oh my gosh, wow, who am I? <laughs> They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. So celebrate this Labor Day knowing you look your best with Plexiderm. Danette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be fit and take care of yourself. Plexiderm makes you feel as good outside as you do inside. Honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. And this Labor Day is the best time to try Plexiderm for $14.95. See it work for yourself after your first application. Just visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's the 25th anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, get 25% off our entire Doctor's Choice lineup. Score free shipping when you purchase any mattress. And five years no interest. The 25th anniversary sale, on now at Denver Mattress. No matter what the color of your skin is, we all have to be part of this. It is a time that we hear people out who are offering up solutions that can lead to change. We are spending a lot of time right now listening so we can better do our job, so we can better amplify your voices, tell your stories, and hopefully build a better tomorrow, a better city for all of us. 2020 may not just be the year that everything was canceled. It may end up being the most important year yet. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good Sunday morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. Well, downtown bars, restaurants, and businesses are bracing for a fall without Badger football and the crowds of customers that come with it. This week's cancellation of Big Ten season is not or is just the latest hardship many of these businesses say they've had to endure. Our Adam Duxter has that story. The 2019 college football season was one businesses and business managers like Lucas Simon Wambach had dreamt of for years. With all the big games kind of right in a row, thousands at a time on those Badger football games were, were coming in. In a five-week span, close to 400,000 fans came to Camp Randall, bringing capacity crowds for Scotty Bar and others along Regent Street. But now the focus is less on filling the bar and more so making sure it can stay open. If there's times where we need to cut hours or where um, we can kind of tweak menu items to make sure that we aren't aren't losing money there. Experts like Jason Ilstrup say each home game puts roughly $16 million into the local economy, all while creating and supporting 3,000 jobs. Money and jobs now lost. At the hotels, at the restaurants, at the bars, at the farms that are feeding the, the, the restaurants, at the linen companies, uh, you name it, all of these different things are happening. Ilstrup says for some retailers, 70% of local revenue comes from Badger sporting events and other large events like conferences. And from from August through November, those events, conferences, and festivals pump more than a billion dollars into Dane County. But just like the games, that money is now on the sidelines. Because this is serious business, right? These are people's livelihoods. Simon Wambach says for now, five tables spaced out here. It's about making Scotty Bar a safe place his customers can still enjoy. Well, Ilstrup says it's necessary to support local any way you can. It's going to take our whole community coming together and saying we need to not only rebuild and restart our city, but we need to reimagine what it looks like. Adam Duxter reporting there for us. With so much revenue tied to games here at Camp Randall, Ilstrup says he's hopeful for Madison that the absence of college football won't go beyond this year. 7.33 and let's turn to the forecast now with meteorologist Aaron White. A beautiful start to this Sunday morning, Aaron. Yeah, it certainly is. We have a lot of sunshine out there. A few clouds to start off your Sunday, but it is going to be sunny as we go through the day right on into the afternoon and actually a rather warm afternoon ahead of us. Temperatures are starting off on the cool side this morning down into the 50s and 60s. We should warm up to about 71 degrees around 9 o'clock. Upper 70s for your lunchtime hour and then highs will be topping out right around 84 degrees. Like I mentioned, though, it is a rather cool start down to about 55 in Janesville, 57 in Lone Rock. We have 58 in Boston. 
Cascabel and 61 already in Camp Douglas. And as we go through today, it is going to be a warm end to the weekend. We are going to kick off the work week with a lot of sunshine, but as we head towards the end of the work week, that's when we see the chance of storms will return by Friday and Saturday. And I'll have a look at that in the extended forecast coming up in just a bit. All right, Aaron, thank you. Well, after months of drive through only pickups, the Dane County Farmers Market is moving forward with in-person shopping. Talia Mohilden shares how they're finding ways to manage during the pandemic. Just over two weeks into the Dane County Farmers Market walk-up and traffic is on the rise. Many people say they're excited to be bringing back face-to-face -face shopping. It's nice to just figure out what you want when you're here instead of just having to do it all beforehand. People can walk by, they may not have ever seen you before, and they'll see a, the product and they'll buy it, where you don't get that on the online. Another part of the appeal is the setup. People really appreciate the safety measures that are in place. So these are the um, dinner swirls. This is um, sun-dried tomato, mozzarella, and sweet basil. It's really nice and it's really easy to stay away from people, but still like have a good time. To make it work during the pandemic, organizers say they've worked closely with the county's public health department and instituted a safe shopper code of conduct. Masks are required. Um, there are hand washing stations throughout the area. We do also have a lot of signage about a variety of things, including the six foot physical distancing. It's the most walking I think I've gone. I'm like, yeah, we got All right. it <laughs> And for participating vendors, this model seems to be a step in the right direction. Most of us here, uh, we're on entrepreneurs so we're gonna do what we can to um, to keep going organizers say this walk up it's still in its pilot phase and that they'll continue to monitor public health and safety making changes as needed to the format in Madison Tahrim Hadin News 3 now the walk-up market has about 50 participating vendors, about 35 of whom participate in the drive through as well. Representatives say they've been able to successfully social distance even during the peak periods, but do recommend risk-averse groups visit the market after 11 o'clock. Well, 736 right now. Today is the first day of Black Restaurant Week, and Madison was actually the first city in the country with a Black Restaurant Week. And all month long, we're featuring the city's black business leaders. And this morning, we're lucky to have Esperdell McGee, owner of McGee's Chicken, who was kind enough to set his alarm extra early on a Sunday morning. Good morning, Esperdell. How's it going this morning? Going great. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. We're obviously very excited for this week. It's a week that you guys yes. have been uh, preparing for. How are things going over there? Things are moving, moving in the right direction. That is some good news. Talk a little bit about what you guys have going on over at your restaurant, and what do you guys all have over there? Well, wow, we got a large menu. Uh, what we actually got going for uh, for Black Restaurant Wink is, like, we have daily specials, and we're running those specials every day, all day. So you can get a Monday on a Friday, a Friday on a Monday. Uh, we're running that. Also, we have like uh, ribs, chicken, fish, Italian beef, uh, soul food. We got smothered pork chops. We got mac and cheese, uh, spaghetti, yams, dressing. Um, we got a pretty large menu. Boy, you're making me hungry this morning. So talk Man. a little bit about, you know, this week in general for you guys. This is a pretty special week for you. What is it like to be able to kind of... Uh... Yes, it is. I've been a part of Black Restaurant Week since it started. And it always generated new business. People would just come by that would actually usually come by. And then they, they become customers because our food is, is, is excellent. So if you try it, you're going to come back eventually. And um, so we're excited about it. Um, we know what's going on in the world. So it's kind of um, put a little damper, but we still excited about it. We believe that an increase because things are kind of turning back to normal. So we're expecting an increase. So Black Restaurant Week happening this week. If people have any questions, you know, where can they find you? Where they can, where can they find your menu and all that stuff? They can find you, you. We're right online on Facebook. And also we're located at 950 West Main Street in Sun Prairie. Um, our location on Park Street closed down, but we're opening a new location at 2702 East Washington. Should be open in about a week. But right this week here, we're just coming right out of Sun Prairie. All right, very good, Esperdell. Good luck this week, and I'll definitely be stopping by. You're making me super hungry already. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on this morning. You bet. Have a wonderful day.
Same to you. All right, well, many Rock County residents were able to get some fresh sweet corn at the Janesville Rotary Club's free drive through corn event yesterday. It was held in place of the annual corn roast and mud volleyball event. It normally attracts around 6,000 people, but this year their plans had to change due to the pandemic. We struggled with three different opportunities as to still be uh, viable for the community. And this event was what we could come up with and still be present. So it was a great idea. The club also hosted its annual Making the Grade recognition for students with a GPA above 3.0. The event is a fundraiser that allows the Rotary to provide scholarships for students, grants for organizations, and donations to causes around the world, such as the eradication of polio. Well, there's no doubt the economy is taking a hit during the pandemic, but stress eating could help boost retail sales. We'll tell you why coming up. Plus, high temperatures are increasing the risk of more wildfires as western states work to contain the ones already burning. Timer right now is 739. We'll be right back. General Heating and Air Conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. Hello, I'm Mike Mandel, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I backed my pillow with a 10 year warranty and a 60 day money back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere Pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. Go Anywhere Pillow is really comfortable. So that's what I really like. It's nice and supportive and it's nice and small. The My Pillow Topper for the first time has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to MyPillow.com to get deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but so much more. For example, you get body pillows, regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. To pick and save, we give you more ways to save on the fresh you love. Like the Pick and Save app. It combines personalized coupons, fuel points, and weekly sales for the best deals. From meat, to fruits and veggies, to milk, to whatever is in that. We've always given you more ways to save. And now those savings are even better than ever. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. General Heating and Air Conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. Well, welcome back on this Sunday morning. We have a great day coming our way with a lot of sunshine out there. Temperatures are going to be pretty warm as well, so it's going to be a nice end to the weekend. And we will see the sunshine continue to kick off your work week. It will start to be a little bit cooler, though, with uh, high temperatures back down into the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. And we are tracking the return of some storms by the end of the week on into next weekend. And that's some good news because we are starting to see some drier conditions moving into Wisconsin. Uh, luckily for today, though, we are going to be dry. We will see a lot of sunshine temperatures into the 70s around lunchtime and we should be topping out right into the lower 80s later on today.
All right, Aaron, thank you. When the pandemic closed gyms, it led to more people stress eating, and that has many Americans carrying a few extra pounds and looking for new clothes. Naomi Ruckham has that story. A few years ago, Lauren Wire decided to lose weight and successfully dropped 50 pounds. When the pandemic hit, I was in full workout mode, was the lowest I've ever been. Even with gyms shut down, Lauren found ways to stay active, but she struggled to eat healthy, causing her to regain 10 pounds. When I fluctuate, I do need to get a new pair of pants or a new shirt to fit. Apparel brands are seeing more customers like Lauren. Raghav Sharma runs Perfectly, which lets consumers create avatars for online shopping. Starting in April, the company saw a 20% spike in people changing their online measurements. Our hypothesis is with people being locked in and not having much to do, uh, there's a lot of eating going on, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of boredom, um, and people are getting bigger. While shoppers need new sizes, they're also making more returns, which can get pretty pricey for retail companies. According to retail software company Narvar Inc., online returns doubled from mid-March to early June, saddling brands with more than $800 million in additional expenses. People truly aren't sure of their size, so they're, they're still ordering three of everything. Lauren can attest to that. You know, I bought 30 bathing suits and returned 27 of them. She's now working to drop the weight gained during the pandemic and keep it off. Experts believe the pandemic will catapult the shift to online shopping five to ten years ahead of schedule. Many brands are already focusing more attention on their online stores than ever before. Well, Kohl's has come up with a unique way to make its customers feel like they are in their stores. The department store chain is using a new augmented reality experience on Snapchat. It's called Kohl's AR Virtual Closet. The store says customers can use the Snapchat app to virtually try on clothes. It's apparently part of a new feature of the selfie lens on the app. If they like what they see, Cole says they can then buy the clothes without ever leaving the Snapchat app. Quarter to eight now on this Sunday. Live look over the Capitol this morning. Beautiful shot from our Edgewater Skycam. Aaron White is back with a look at our work week forecast coming up. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can show their picture on TV. Stay with us. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Dear Penny, heads we stay local, tails we hit the road. With a new Toyota, you'll always land a winner. Your friends, Toyota. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on a new 2020 RAV4 or RAV4 hybrid. Toyota. Joe Biden says, If you elect me, your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. That means middle class families, small businesses, and seniors pay higher taxes. It's the biggest tax increase in history. Citizenship for 11 million undocumented folks. That means 11 million illegal immigrants competing for American jobs, eligible for free health care, Social Security, and Medicare. America can't afford Joe Biden. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. I'm here. Auntie's here. Hey, Mom and Dad here. Together, nothing can keep us apart. That's why U.S. Cellular is building powerful 5G coverage that works inside and out. Switch to the network ranked number one in network quality by J.D. Power. U.S. Cellular. Upgrade to FAIR. Packer scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery can turn into all sorts of fun things. Like two club-level seats to every Packers home game for the next two years. Just by mailing in $5 of non-winning Packers scratch games to enter the bonus drawing. Or there's a chance to instantly win cash prizes. Packers scratch games. Watch the excitement unfold. Welcome to the Dell Bar. One visit and you'll fall in love. A supper club you'll adore. We are now open, so take a drive. We would love to have you come and dine with us. The Dell Bar, since 1943, Wisconsin Dells.
Heads we stay local, tails we hit the road. With a new Toyota, you'll always land a winner. Your friends, Toyota. Get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2020 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Toyota. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning and welcome back on the Sunday. We're starting off the day with a lot of sunshine and it's going to continue right on through the afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful day, rather warm afternoon and one of the warmer days of the next uh, several. In fact, as we look over Madison right now, we have that sunshine out there. Temperatures are starting off into the uh, mid to upper 50s. Madison at 57, southeast wind at 6 miles per hour. Going to see that wind shifting more to the west uh, throughout today and that's going to help to warm us up right on into the 80s. Around noontime though, 77 degrees, 81 by 5 o'clock and today's high topping out right around 84 degrees but this morning it is on the cool side in many areas in the 50s and lower 60s we have 58 in Lone Rock and Bosco Bell 58 in the Dell 63 in Camp Douglas and still holding on to 55 in Janesville and as we look at the extended forecast we are going to see that sunshine continuing right on to the start of the work week but storm chances will return by the end of the week, Friday and into Saturday. And while things are quiet here right now, it is a little bit more active down in the tropics. We have a couple systems. We have Kyle and Josephine. Kyle, that's moving out into the Atlantic. That is a post-tropical cyclone now. Still tropical storm Josephine. That's going to be weakening and actually it's going to be curling out into the Atlantic as well, but still watching a couple areas of development that may have some impacts down the road right now, well off into the central and eastern part of the Atlantic. So something to watch over the course of the next several days. Back here at home, not much to worry about for today as we will see that sunshine. Few clouds out there this morning. Temperatures warming up into the 70s around lunchtime, back into the uh, mid to upper 70s. And then this afternoon, we should see highs topping out in the lower to middle 80s before another cool night with lows down into the 50s. So today, 84 degrees, mostly sunny. Again, a few clouds passing through throughout the day. West wind about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then for tonight, we will see those temperatures cooling down a little bit down to the upper 50s, 59 degrees. So maybe a little warmer than we are this morning. Mostly clear sky, northwest wind at 5 to 10. And starting off the work week, sunshine Monday and Tuesday, high around 80 degrees. We'll keep that going right on into Wednesday. There will be the chance for a storm Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. I would say that's a very minimal chance, the better chance Friday into Saturday. But overall, extended forecast, not too bad. A lot of sunshine on that 10-day. Uh, I have noticed it is getting a little dry out there, though. The leaves especially. I've seen some leaves already fall into the ground. but Yeah, and I've actually seen a little color in the trees, too. Oh, my goodness. That's a little too early for that. I've seen it, too, yeah. So yeah. it's like I'm trying to like avoid it <laughs> because I do love fall, but it's for still sure, summer yeah. for a little while yet. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And like you mentioned, it is kind of dry out there, so hopefully we get some decent rainfall uh, by Friday and Saturday. Too. All right, Aaron. Thank you. Well, several states from Texas to California are expected to report the hottest temperatures of the summer. Those extreme conditions are raising fire risks and already in areas already dealing with those wildfire evacuations. In Los Angeles County, authorities have issued evacuation orders for areas impacted by two large fires. The Ranch 2 fire in Azusa has burned about 2,500 acres so far. Authorities there are looking for the man who they say intentionally started that blaze. The lake fire near Santa Clarita has, or has also burned more than 17,000 acres so far and destroyed more than 20 structures. There's been areas of this fire that have not burned in decades. It's an unaccessible terrain, which add, added to the complexity of the fire. In Colorado, crews are battling three different fires. And in Oregon, a fire in Wasco County also gave firefighters a hard time with no relief in sight. Firefighters already dealing with enough or having enough to handle, also having a different kind of a challenge. This bull chased several firefighters as they were trying to clear a road there. Some incredible video there. Locals say his name is Ferdinand, though some call him Maxwell. Hopefully everybody's okay there. Well, before we had to break, remember to make News 3 Now part of your weekly routine by downloading the Channel 3000 app for the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. Just ahead, movie theaters are making an attempt to reopen once again when some Wisconsinites can go back to the box office when we return.
Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. This drug remains approved by the FDA. If you or a loved one regularly took Zantac and were later diagnosed with cancer, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Potential cancers include bladder cancer, colon cancer, kidney cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer. Do not stop taking a prescribed medication without first consulting with your doctor. Discontinuing a prescribed medication without your doctor's advice can result in injury or death. Call 1-800-670-2995. Right now, AARP's work is more important than ever. Access to health care, affordable prescription drugs, opportunities to save for the future. That's what AARP fights for because that's what everyone deserves. We're seeing it again. The virus spreading out of control. The president once again failing to act. Joe Biden knows we need to listen to medical experts and take action now. That starts by expanding testing, calling for mask mandates nationwide, starting immediately, and producing more protective gear here at home. Fighting this virus and rebuilding our economy will take a president who's ready to lead. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Scoot over. Squeeze in. Pull up a chair. Because life's just better when you believe there's always room for one more. Ritz. A taste of welcome. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. This year, school is going to be full of changes. What will school be like, and how can we make sure our kids are safe? We're getting the answers you need to help you prepare. So keep an eye on News 3 Now this morning and get ready to go back to school. How does COVID-19 affect kids? We'll help separate fact from fiction. UW Health's Dr. Jeffrey Potoff answers your questions about the risks and the precautions you can take when your kids head back to the classroom. Monday on News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back at 756 this morning. AMC is once again planning to reopen its theaters next week. More than 100 locations will open up across the country and tickets will be, get this, just 15 cents for its first day on August 20th. If you want to see a movie when they open, you'll have to wear a mask. The theaters will also have lowered capacity and upgraded ventilation systems. It will be a couple of more weeks before Wisconsin locations reopen, though. The AMC in Baraboo will open back up on August 27th, and locations in Madison and Johnson Creek are scheduled to reopen on September 3rd. Aaron's here with a final check of the forecast. Really just a beautiful Sunday. You had a couple yeah. of showers earlier, but they kind of cleared out. Yeah, that's good news. Uh, we did see those really fall apart as we went through the morning hours. We just have a few clouds out there, but temperatures are going to be warming up nicely as we go through the day. We'll see a lot of sunshine up into the 70s around noontime into the 80s later on this afternoon. There could be a few clouds out there, but no rain in the forecast for today. More sunshine Monday and Tuesday. High of around 80 degrees Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A very uh, similar forecast as we see high temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. There will be the chance of storms, though, by Friday and Saturday, though. All right, Aaron, thank you, and thanks for joining us, everyone. Make it a great Sunday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 